guys, what's up? KSK here, and today I'm going to show you how to flash the Mi UI 10 based on Android 8.1 Oreo on Poco F1. So let's get started. Alright, so first thing first, and before doing anything, so please back up all of your user data. So this process will completely wipe all of the data like your photos, videos. Just go ahead and back up the data before doing anything. Then go back to the settings about phone tap on the MIUI version for a couple of times in order to activate the developer options. Then go ahead and quickly jump onto the developer options and inside that Mi Unlock status, make sure that you're having the unlock bootloader. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader of Poco F1, just go ahead and watch my video which I already made it on this channel. You will find the link in the description down below. So once you're done, make sure that you have to enable the USB debugging. Just go ahead and turn it on and then press the OK here. Now jump back to the uh, main page of the settings here and select the Mi account. If you have signed in with the Mi account, just go ahead and sign out of from the Mi account. Then go ahead and take off the USB cable from your computer and hook up with your phone. Now switching back to the uh, computer view, so in this video I will be using uh, Ubuntu to flash the TWRP uh, first and then we're going to flash the MIUI 10 later on using the TWRP. Just go ahead and grab all of these files from the links in the description, the TWRP file, the Disable Force encryption as well as the MIUI 10 zip file. Copy all of these files onto the external storage, I mean the SD card. For the sake of this video, I will be using the USB OTG on this uh, video. So anyway, so as you can see that it's actually copying. And just in case if you're using the uh, Windows computer, just go ahead and download the uh, platform tools. Basically it contains the ADB as well as the fastboot commands which are actually required in order to flash the TWRP under the POCO F1. So inside this extractor folder you can see the ADB as well as the fastboot commands and just go back here and then you need to move this TWRP image file into this platform tools. So once it's done, so on the top of the address bar, just go ahead and highlight it and then simply a type the CMD and then press the return key and then back to the Ubuntu here so you can type the exactly the same commands on the Windows 2 also just go ahead and type this command called ADB devices so once you type the ADB devices on your phone you can see this prompt just go ahead and press the OK then I'm gonna go ahead and move the directory which is where all the files are located so first we need to uh, boot the device into the fast boot mode just type this command called adb reboot bootloader that should gonna boot your device into the uh, fast boot mode so once you're in the fast boot mode to check it whether it is working properly just go ahead and type the command called fast boot devices to ensure the device is still in contact with the computer then type this command called fast boot flash recovery and TWRP and press the tab key to auto complete and press the return key on your PC so that's good gonna boot I mean that should gonna flash the TWRP onto your POCO F1 then last but not least type this command called fast boot a boot TWRP and then press the return key that should gonna boot your device into the TWRP recovery mode so as you can see it's actually booted up now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the USB ODG which is where all of the files are located in now, if you're inside the TWRP for the first time, that should gonna show you this message. Just go ahead, simply click on the cancel button and then swipe to allow the modifications. So once you're done, just go ahead and select the wipe and then we need to factory reset the device by selecting the format data and then type yes and then you need to press the return key. That should gonna be a remove all of the user data and encryption of the POCO F1. Then go ahead and select the reboot and then recovery and then this should gonna be boot back to the recovery one more time. Now once you're inside the TWRP again, select the mount and make sure that you have enabled these two partitions like system as well as a vendor partition. Then go ahead and select install and then you need to flash the disable force encryption, that zip file and swipe to confirm flash. At this point, we're actually uh, completely done uh, flashing the TWRP onto this POCO F1. And now, next what you can do is just go back to the main uh, page of the settings of TWRP. And here, just go ahead and select the backup. Go ahead and back up the current ROM, which is a MIUI 9, onto your SD card or the USB ODG, whatever you want to. So, if anything goes wrong, this backup will help you to revert back to the MIUI 9. Once it's done, just go back to the home screen, select the install, and then choose the MIUI 10 zip file, and then swipe to confirm flash. All 
right so once it's done so we're gonna go ahead and simply select the reboot system and that's it and you are good to go and your device should boot into the MIUI 10 and yeah that's it and that's pretty much about this video and if you like this video or give a thumbs up and if you hate it just go ahead and dislike this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel this is KSK here signing off Peace out.